Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kevin Walkenny. I'm the assistant director for the Prescription Assistance Program. We have Hazel Tashqua. She's our accounts payable, and Casey McCarthy. She is our records clerk. Uh, our director, Lauren Vasquez, can't couldn't make it this afternoon, so we're going to kind of take charge real quick. If for you guys that don't know, our office is located downtown at the Keith Yacchione facility on 5 Southwest D Avenue. I know it's kind of weird. If you say 5th Street, that's west of the mall, but if you say 5 Southwest D, then it's east of the mall. So we're right over there. All right, here's part of our, uh, I guess kind of our motto, kind of what we work for. Uh, at the Comanche Nation Prescription Assistance Program, we are in a unique position to be able to help our Comanche people where help is needed the most. So do more, feel better, live longer, that's kind of our motto. But it's not just a motto, it's our pledge to you that we will do our utmost to help our people live healthier, fuller lives. We do so through this program. Okay, how do you apply for our assistance? Well, first you have to have your CDIB card, a copy of your prescription, and a completed application. We are, uh, because we're solely based off of gaming money, we have no service area. We can service clients all over the country. Actually, we have clients that go through all of North America. We have clients in Vancouver, Canada, Ontario, Canada, in Florida, California, Texas. There's our, our coverage area. There's no income base with our, within our program. All it is is you come in and you just complete this little single form, single sheet uh, application. It's basically your address, a phone number where we can kind of locate you, a CDIB number, and your prescription, and you are already enrolled in our program. We try to make it as simple as possible so that we can actually get out and service our clients. This part right here was brand new to the CBC because all of us are pretty well, we can't hear too well. And uh, the first thing that came up was hearing aid. We went, what? So explain that there, sir. Yes, that's uh, part of our services that we provide, uh, hearing aid. What we do, we kind of work with IHS. If, if uh, you go down there, they provide one hearing aid for you and our program will buy the other one. If you choose to go to an outsource, uh, vendor or a different uh, audiology department, then we can pay up to 365 and that's a one-time deal for every three years. And then we have a, a dental program, it's like the dentures and the partials. Uh, we recommend that you go through at the Anadarko Denture Clinic. If you go through there, we have a con not really a contract, but we have a, a plan set up with Joe at the Anadarko Denture Clinic and the amount that we offer pays for the full set. So you're able to go up there and not have to come out of pocket for anything. What you do is you go down to the uh, IHS, they'll give you a piece of paper, a letter, stating after you've, after you've seen the dentist what your needs are. And you bring that back to us, and then we can kind of work with that with our vouchers. And that's the same with the partials. We have a new deal that we started within our program a couple of years ago, the dental plan. We've seen the need through all of our, our tribal community, um, even like within our own, the, the tribe here our, where we work at, the dental uh, insurance really doesn't pay a whole lot. So what we did, we established the, uh, the dental plan where we can pay up to $1,000 towards any type of dental work that you need. Say you come in and you need a crown or something that IHS doesn't offer, then we, you can go down to a local dentist, or, or but then again, our service areas is, is all over the country. You can find a dentist that'll take our voucher and we can pay up to $1,000. That includes bra braces, a lot of times, a parent will come in and braces are kind of pricey. They're around, you know, between four to $7,000. Well, we can use that $1,000 that'll go towards your down payment. So that way the client can go ahead and get the, the braces process started. Uh, we also do the medication, uh, come in with a prescription and we can pay up to $100 every 30 days. It's not once a month, that's kind of that, that little, where people kind of confuse it with us. It's every 30 days. So if you came in today, which is, January 21st, the next time you can bring in another uh, script will be February 21st. We provide uh, medical supplies, uh, nutritional supplements, the insure. We have a lot of clients that, that come in and request that. 
We also do the uh, adult protective wear. And it's not solely for, uh, for adults. We had, did actually have one client that was a minor that had a situation where uh, with his medical needs, he needed to have pull-ups, so we were able to provide that service as well. As well. It wasn't just for the adults. We do the uh, medical, the, I mean, the uh, wheelchairs, the nebulizers, the bedside commodes, basically any need that you, when you're going to see the doctor, any kind of equipment that you're going to need, bring a script in. I mean, we rarely turn anybody away. The only thing we do is if it uh, is related to diabetes, because the tribe has a diabetes program, we try not to double dip. So if they're able to get them a wheelchair, we let the diabetes, because they have federal funds, we let them take over on that. If you're a non-diabetic, then you come and see us and we can take care of that. But if you, whenever you're seeing your doctor, if there's anything you think that you need, have them put it on the script pad and bring it in and then we can kind of work with you on that. Um, what else is, we do the miscellaneous equipment, the braces for your arms, legs, your knee, canes, walker, the TENS unit. The new deal that's kind of been coming in is your, uh, I met, uh, Sandra mentioned earlier, she had a client with the uh, sleep apnea. We do the CPAP. You come in, you do, we can't pay for your testing, but we can pay for whatever type of equipment that you need after the testing is completed. Uh, we do the uh, rental fees like oxygen, uh, equipment, the tanks. If somebody needs to rent a hospital bid, that falls under our program as well. You have a question? Yes. question on the floor was a scooter and the battery went dead we've heard this quite a bit right bring that back to us we can take care of that we just be right 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 that was part of our, our initial when we started the scooter plan they uh, everything fell under the one-year manufacturers uh, price excluding the batteries but because there's been such an issue with the batteries we visited with the tribal administrator and now we're able to allow that assistance so if you can come in we can help with the batteries. There you go, Mary. It's been the great battery. That's the that's deal. If, if there's ever caper. an issue in the community, man, come in and talk to us. That's what we're there for. And we can try to sit down and figure it out. Even if it doesn't have anything to do with our program, we can try to assist you and guide you to the next program that can help you. I mean, we're, we're there Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Even uh, now, because we deal so much with the, at the local pharmacies, they have our cell phone number. So say a client, client comes in and he goes, he has the flu and he has to go to the emergency room after hours, the pharmacy Kim's will call us, hey Kevin, I've got this client and we're still able to assist him after hours and then take care of the paperwork the next business day. So we're always there trying to help. That's what we're there for. I mean, that's the bottom line, guys. We're here to service. Yes, bring it on in. Actually take it over to MediEquip and then we'll trade it out. Well, bring it to the office. <laughs> bring it to the office. We, we can take care of that. Bring it in. Okay. You bring, bring it to the office. We'll get her taken care of. That's no problem. But again, that's what it kind of goes down to. That's what we're here for. We're here to, to service our tribal community. It kind of gives you an ideal of when we started in 2002, uh, some of the administration at the time you know, asked about this particular program, the needs of uh, some a program that needed to help with the uh, the tribal community with the medications, and that's when it started. And we had roughly 52 clients that particular year, and you can kind of see up to this past year how much we've grown. Uh, so there is a need in this community for this program, and, and that's what we're here for. Question here. Yes. Uh, Talking about batteries for the hearing aids? We've never had that question. Come in, come in Monday and we can, we can sit down and figure it out for you. Here comes a question out of state, uh, Mr. Walkini. Can members in Medicare use prescription services? Yes, that's, we, we really encourage you to come in with your other, your insurances. Medicare, Medicaid, if you have private insurance, Come on in with that because we can adjust with that. A lot of times, a client will come in and we can make the copay. So, so we encourage you to come in with that. I know I talk fast. I'm sorry. Here's a here's a 
kind of a hard one here. It says, what about assistance with cataract surgery for elders? I don't know if that's, what do they call that when they, the laser? That maybe? particular deal, we, we can't because it's a procedure. Procedure, okay. We, we can so, just do the medications so and the equipment. So it's a script, yes. yeah, like it says, prescription. Okay, yes. sir. Thank you for saying that. We appreciate that. I mean, that, again, that goes back to that's what we're here for. We're here to serve not only our program, but all of these programs. Uh, you being out of state is a prime example. All it requires is you maybe doing a little bit of footwork, finding a pharmacy, and then have them call us. We can sit down and, and knock out the little nuts and bolts and, and set up a payment plan with them. And, and that's all it takes. And we will take it from there. Once you can give us a pharmacy in your area, we have, you know, again, we have clients all over all over the, the country. Thank you. Kevin, great job. Hey, thank thank you. you, sir. Thank you for coming up. And it's like general yes. counsel. What you got? In certain instances, yes. If you Even like with something as simple as we had a client that needed just a, a humidifier for her baby. Have the doctor put it on a script pad and bring it in that we can assist with that. Are there any other questions? All right, Kevin.